Are you a foreigner investing in U.S. real estate? If so, have you heard of FERPTA? I know, it sounds like a disease. It kind of is a disease. It's like a tax disease. FERPTA stands for the Foreign Investment in Real Properties Tax Act of 1980. And here's what FERPTA does. Prior to 1980, foreigners could come buy U.S. real estate, wait for it to go up in value, and then sell it and not pay the tax, and the U.S. couldn't do anything about it because the money was outside the U.S. and so was the seller. So in 1980, they introduced FERPTA, and FERPTA is essentially a withholding tax regime. So if a foreign person sells U.S. real estate, the buyer has to withhold 15% of the sales price and give it to the IRS as a guarantee of the tax. Then the foreigner has to file a U.S. income tax return and report what the actual gain was and how much the actual tax was. If the 15% that was withheld and paid to the IRS is more than the actual tax, the foreigner will receive a refund. If, however, it's less, the foreigner would owe more. In my experience, however, the 15% is always more than the tax that's actually owed because the 15% is a withholding tax based on the entire sale price rather than simply the profit. Now, this withholding, one, it takes a while to get the money back from the IRS, and two, a lot of buyers don't want to go through this hassle of withholding the money, filing all the proper paperwork in order to pay it to the IRS. So there's a going trend in the U.S. where buyers simply won't buy property from foreign sellers, or they'll demand some serious price concessions from the foreign seller because of the headaches that they're gonna have with dealing with this FERPTA situation, withholding this 15% and paying it to the IRS. There are ways around FERPTA, we know all of them, uh, but basically with a proper corporate structure, that means owning your property through entities rather than individually, you can avoid this whole FERPTA thing, you can avoid price concessions, you can avoid uh, the, the, the headache of having to claim this withholding tax back from the IRS, uh, which entity structure is right for you largely depends on what type of asset you're buying. You're buying a house to live in, are you buying a rental property, are you buying uh, an industrial complex, a shopping center, what is it, where do you live, and how much is this thing worth? Anyway, we can help you figure out what the right structure is for you. Uh, we've been doing this for a long time. Check us out at EsquireGroup.com and let us help you.